Hello and welcome to Yoga Lattes with Rashmi. I am Rashmi. This is my grandmother Vidya and we are here for yet another yoga for the elderly video. I hope you've checked out all our videos. We've done so many, you know, Tati. So many videos we've done on yoga for the elderly, which are all seated on a chair. We've done yoga, we've done dance, we've done breathing exercises and so much more. So please check out the playlist. I will attach it in the description below. Today we are going to do a gentle asana practice, a yoga asana practice seated on a chair. My grandmother is 86 years old and going strong. She is going to live till she is 200 or more I think. <laughs> so we are going to start with doing gentle joint rotations, move on to doing seated Surya Namaskars and then do an asana practice. We will end with a breathing exercise and just a short, very very short relaxation for you to cool down. Yeah, she is reminding you to do something. You have to like, like share, share and subscribe Subscribe to Yoga Lattes with Rashmi. She is reminding me to tell you that you need to do this. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you are ready to start and if you are seated on a chair, we will start with rotating your head. So look down with your head first and start with gentle rotation very very slowly. Start making circles in the same direction. Slowly as you breathe in, you go up and as you breathe out, you come down. You breathe in and go up. Breathe out and come down. Breathe in and go up. Breathe out and come down. One more time. Breathe in, going up into the back. Breathe out, coming down and we will reverse the circle, going the other direction. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One last time. Breathe in and breathe out very good come back to the center now we'll work on your shoulders so gentle rotations to the back start to rotate your shoulders to the back slowly going back keep going keep breathing normally and we'll reverse the circle now take your shoulders in the front shoulders going forward Very good. Now we'll work on your wrist. So close your hands into a fist and rotate your wrist. And reverse, going the other way. Very nice. Okay. We'll do few rounds of Surya Namaskar which is seated on a chair. So you join your palms together close to your heart center. You breathe in, raise your arms up. Breathe out, get your hands down from the sides. Place them on your knees. Bend forward. I am not going to bend too low because I am pregnant right now. And then you only lift your head up, look up with your head. And look down with your head. Slowly come back up. Raise your arms up once again from the sides and join your palms together. Once again, same thing. Breathe in, raise your hands up. Breathe out, bring your hands down. Bend forward, bend down. First lift only your head up. Look up with your head and then look down with your head. Slowly come back up into the seated position. Raise your arms up from the sides and join your palms together. One last time. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, arms down. Hands on your thighs, slowly bend forward. Look up with your head. Look down with your head. Come back up. Raise your arms up from the sides and slowly come back to Namaste. Very nice. Keep your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in. Slowly breathe out. One more. Deep breath in. 
slowly breathe out. One last deep breath in. Slowly breathe out. Okay, you can keep your hands on your knees and we're going to do the cat stretch. So you slowly push your chest out, look up with your head and then you look down with your head and pull your chest in. Keep going, breathe in, chest out, look up, breathe out, chest in, look down. Breathe in, chest out, look up, breathe out, chest down. Breathe in, look up, breathe out, look down, chest to the back. One last time, breathe in and slowly breathe out. Come back to the center. Now we're going to twist to the back. So you hold your chair from the back, keep your other hand on your opposite knee and look behind you and twist. You have to look on that side, look behind you, twist. Hold it there, slowly come back to the center. Do the same thing on the other side. So hand on your knee, one hand at the back, turn and twist. Slowly come back to the center. Once more, hand at the back, turn and twist. Keep breathing. Slowly come back to the center. One last time, turn and twist. and slowly come back to the center. Very good. Next, we're going to do a sideways stretch. So you keep one hand on your chair, you raise your arm up and stretch to the side. And then we'll slowly come back down. Again on the other side, raise your other arm up, stretch to the side and slowly come back down. Once more, arm up, stretch slowly come down one last time arm up stretch and slowly come down good job now we did the twist we did the chest expansion and we also stretch from side to side so now we're going to do a little bit of a this pose that's called Garudasana or the eagle pose where you have to crisscross your hands you may not be able to do the full crisscross which is absolutely fine Okay, so you cross your hands and you try to take them around. So ideally your palms should touch each other. If they don't touch each other, they'll be like this, which is also fine. You just have to lift your arms up and bring them down. Again, push your arms up and bring them down. Push your arms up, bring them down. Two more times. Arms up, arms down, arm up and down. Now you see which hand is on top and you have to switch the hand now. So switch again, try to crisscross and we'll go arm up, arm down, arm up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up. Last time and up and down and relax. Very good. Now, after we do this, we are going to do the warrior pose, which is the warrior 2, Veerabhadrasana. So, we will open your legs out a little bit more, see if you are able to stretch your legs out. If you are not able to stretch your legs out, it's absolutely fine, you can keep your feet together. But if you are able to, then you try to open your legs out to the sides. You are going to stretch both your arms out. Now, I am going to hold my grandmother's hand and we are going to slowly turn your head to the side. Now, we are going to do this pose with a gentle stretch. So, first I am going to pull her to my side and then she'll pull me to her side and I'm going to pull her to my side and she'll pull me to her side. Now if you don't have somebody to do this with, you can do this on your own also. You don't need to pull anybody but since we are doing this together, we are able to feel a stretch while we pull and stretch and stretch and stretch. Last two times, stretch and stretch and slowly come down and relax very good now we'll just work on your ankles so just raise one leg up and start to rotate your ankle just gentle rotation isolating the rest of your leg and then we'll reverse
and relax. Let's do the same thing with the other leg. Rotate. And reverse. And relax. Very good. Now we're just going to do one breathing exercise which is called the alternate nostril breathing exercise. So for that you place two fingers of your right hand at the center of your forehead, thumb closing your right nostril, exhale through your left and then slowly inhale through your left, close left, exhale through your right, inhale through your right, close right, exhale through your left, inhale left, close left, exhale right, inhale right, close right, exhale left, inhale left, close left, exhale right, inhale right, close right, exhale left. You can slowly drop your hand down, keep your eyes closed. Take a long deep breath in and slowly breathe out. One more deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Okay, very, very slowly and gradually you may open your eyes. How are you feeling Tati? Feeling good? Feeling calm and relaxed? I think she wants to go back into a meditation. Feeling sleepy? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's yoga practice and I hope you are enjoying all the videos that we are putting out on yoga for the elderly. You can check out the playlist below and don't forget to, what do they have to do Tati? Like, share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Ma.